And on your side gives you some of the local inspiration to a film hitting the box office this Friday. It's a movie about a dogged investigative reporter who got his start at NKU and the Kentucky Post while living in Covington. Gary Webb, San Jose Mercury News. You believe in conspiracy theories, Gary? Kill the Messenger tells the story of tenacious journalist Gary Webb, a newspaper reporter with the courage to accuse the CIA of funding drug lords. He didn't really think about the consequences. I think he was brave in that sense. Webb's you know, former was, wife, Sue Bell, he, saw that quality early on. She remembers back to his first paid newspaper job at the Kentucky Post when the two lived in downtown Covington. When we lived there, there was a lot of crime. One night, they looked out the window of their house on 11th Street and saw a man pushing Webb's car down the street. He was like, I've had it with this. I'm just, you know, I'm going to go out there and stop him. And I'm like, don't go out there. And he went out and confronted him with a rifle. And the guy started, he was huge. And he just started coming towards him. And Gary, you know, put the gun up. And at the same time, the guy turned and Webb shot him in the buttocks. I used that, I, that part of Gary. Or that slight paranoia or that reaction to things uh, in the film. Director Michael Cuesta says he had to use a lot of amalgams to condense a complicated story and keep the audience on point to the film's purpose. The film is the journey of one man's sacrifice um, to carry the burden of the truth of truth and knowledge. You know, that, that's a heavy burden because um, not everyone wants the truth out there. WCPO reporter Lucy May has dug deep into Webb's roots in the tri-state. You can check out her story right now on WCPO.com. Tonight, the